Hello, Lori. It was so nice to meet you today. I know we didn't have a lot of time today, so our meeting was cut short, but I'm excited for the next time I see you. We will have so much to talk about. If you're free next week, I could come visit you again. I'd love to get to know you more. Oh, you mean you plan to come over again? Yes, of course. You can't be serious. Are you acting oblivious or are you just dense? You must have a very thick skin. I thought I was being pretty obvious. Do your friends ever tell you that you're not very perceptive? Oh, um, actually, no one's ever said that to me before. Is that so? Maybe you're like this because the people you surround yourself with are just as clueless as you then. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Did I do or say something that might have upset you today? I apologize if I did. Please let me know what it was that upset you, and I will do my best not to let it happen again. I'm going to be straightforward with you, since you don't seem to be able to take a hint. I don't approve of your family background. My family background? That's right. Your family background. I heard that your family run a small business selling pots at some farmer's market. You know very well that my son's salary as a doctor is worth quadruple what your parents or yourself could ever dream of. You can't fool me. You are the perfect example of what a gold digger is. You're trying to mooch off of Harry, and it's very obvious. How dare you even think to get married to someone like my son? Do you finally understand what I'm trying to say? It is clear that your family and our family are on different levels. We have different standards. We're different people, you see. You thought you could change your life by marrying my son. Well, that is too bad, because I am not going to let that happen. No matter what. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL? Are you out of your mind? Did your parents not teach you to be respectful to elders? This is what I'm talking about. So classless. I'm sorry, but that was too funny. You're hilarious. Are you for real? I knew you were two-faced the moment I met you. Is this your true color? It's like you're a whole different person now. Lori, I think you might have misunderstood the situation here. You got it all mixed up. You're calling me a gold digger, but it's actually the other way around, you see? Your son is the one that begged me to date him. He followed me around everywhere and would not leave me alone. He even messaged my friends to try to get me to come out. It was clear that he wouldn't give up even after so many times of me turning him down. That's when I realized that I had no choice but to finally give him a chance. And here we are after three years of dating. Give him a chance? How dare you belittle him? You should be thankful that a doctor like him even considered you. Turning the story around is not going to change anything. You're only trying to make yourself feel better by denying the facts. Can't you see that this was just some sort of charity to him? Harry is just too caring. He sees something unfortunate and just can't walk away. What am I going to do with him? I'm confused. At first you were upset thinking that I was the one to pursue your son. But now you are upset that I wasn't being grateful that your doctor son chose me? What exactly is it that you want? Do you even realize what you are saying? It sounds like no matter what I say, you're just going to deny me. Do you really think that I'm going to allow this marriage to happen? Someone like you doesn't deserve my son. I spent so much money and time on giving him the best education there is. I dedicated my whole life trying to make him the perfect man there is. I already set Harry up on a blind date with someone who suits him better. She is a daughter of a well-known family-run law firm. I won't go into further detail. Simply put, you don't fit our standards. So I suggest you give up now before you get your feelings hurt. Don't waste any more of my time. Please, wake up and get out of sight! Okay, I understand. It's not polite to get in someone's way. Since Harry has other plans lined up for him, 
I will gladly step aside. As you wish, you will not hear from me again. Hello, Melissa. Didn't you say that you were meeting Harry's mother today? How come you haven't updated me on how it went? Yep, I did. She was the absolute worst, Dad. Uh, uh, what do you mean by the absolute worst? Was it that bad? Just like I said, the absolute worst. She's impossible to talk to. I have never met such an unpleasant person in my life. She's so proud of her doctor's son that I can't even try to have a normal conversation with her without her trying to belittle me. She didn't even bother to get to know me. She was just busy trying to get rid of me. Oh, tell me everything. I want to know in detail. What exactly did she say? There's not much to really tell you. I don't know where she even got the idea, but she thought our family business was selling pots at a farmer's market. And let me tell you, she was not happy about that. I didn't even bother to correct her. It wasn't like she was going to listen anyways. She had such a bad attitude. I don't feel like telling her about our botanical garden anymore. Why waste my time with someone like that, right? She called me a gold digger and said I was trying to make a move on her rich and established son. Can you believe that? Ugh, she did not pass the vibe check. Honestly, she made me want to puke. How could a person be so cruel? Anyways, I didn't want to waste your time filling you in on such an unpleasant story. So that's why I have been so quiet about it. Oh, my, my, I'm sorry you had to go through that, dear. I can't believe people like that still exist nowadays. She does sound like a terrible person. So unreasonable and unpleasant. Oh, this makes me so mad. Well, what now? Are you still going to marry Harry after all of that? Of course not. Do you think I'm crazy? After meeting her, there is absolutely no way. I don't need to get married to Harry to know how miserable my life will be. Just talking to his mom for a few minutes made it crystal clear that's not the life I want. Dad, I can't imagine living like that for the rest of my life. I refuse to put myself in that situation. I refuse to associate myself with people like that. I plan to end my relationship with Harry. I'm not even sad about it. Well, I'm glad you made that choice, Melissa. I don't want to see you get stressed over someone like that. I can't bear thinking about how unhappy you would be if you chose to marry into that family. You know that I support you no matter what. You should do what makes you happy. I'm proud of you, Melissa. Of course. Thanks, Daddy. I really needed to hear you say that. I'm just glad that Mom didn't have to see any of this. If she had seen what happened, I'm sure this would have turned into a huge fight. If your mom was alive to see this, you know she would have turned their house upside down. She would make sure to teach Harry's mom a hard lesson. Oh, she would have hated to have seen you get hurt. Anyways, you must have had a long day. Forget that horrible lady. Get some rest. Oh, good night, Mel. All right, Daddy. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You raised me to be strong. Sweet dreams. Hey, babe. What are you up to? You've been awfully quiet. You haven't been answering my calls today. Is everything all right? Oh, hey, sorry. I was outside meeting a friend, so I couldn't really check my phone. Oh, a friend? Which one? I've met all of your friends, remember? Kevin, Brian, Jody, Brett, Christine. Oh, Actually, you don't know this friend. Uh, he's from elementary school. I don't see him very often. Really? We dated for three years and there's still a friend that you haven't introduced to me yet? Who is it? I want to meet him. Invite me next time you guys hang out. He's actually really shy and introverted. I'm not sure if he would feel comfortable. He doesn't really like meeting new people. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll ask him if it's okay to bring you next time. Aren't smart people supposed to be good at lying? I guess that's not always the case then, because you really suck at it. What do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that I'm lying? You don't trust me? 
sir, for someone who treats his patients with care and integrity, you don't really seem to treat your girlfriend that way. Do you think that I'm stupid? I know that you went on a blind date today with some daughter of a law firm CEO. Wait, how did you know? Ha! <laughs> you didn't think I would find out? Remember the day I met your mother? Well, she made sure that day to get rid of me the best she could. She said that I was the perfect example of what a gold digger is. That you're way above my grade. And that I don't fit your family standards because of what my family does for business. Anyways, she clearly made her point. As a bonus, she even graciously told me about your blind date plans that she set up for you. Wow. Wow, she did? Wow, she did. Is that all you're going to say? Just by seeing your reaction, I can see that you really don't care about me. Well, this sums it up then. We don't need to waste any more time. I think it's best we part ways now before things get ugly. Okay then, I'm not gonna argue. You're right. And honestly, I kind of agree with my mom about what she said. I didn't want to hurt your feelings because I do like you, but it's true that you're not quite up to my family standards. Think about it. Just looking at our pay grade alone, we don't really match. All of my friends are married to someone of their equal. A doctor, a lawyer, a professor. But you're a salesperson at a small retail store. If I take you to social events and gatherings, and people ask about what you do for a living, what am I supposed to tell them? Yep, just as I suspected. You're just like your mother. And don't confuse this as a compliment. Because your mother is the absolute worst person that I've ever met. You and your mother's way of thinking is disgusting, Harry. Hey, let's not cross our lines here. My mother did what she thought was the best for her son, alright? So it's okay to talk badly of me, but it's not okay to talk badly of her? Wow. I wish I knew how much of a mama's boy you were before we started dating. How did I not notice this side of you before? Had I known about this three years ago, I would not have even considered this relationship. To think that I wasted all this time with someone so spineless. I'm starting to wonder how you even held back for so long. You really outdid yourself. Anyways, I'm done with you. Go have a great life with that girl who fits your golden standards, and don't ever contact me again. So, uh, did you break up with Harry yet? Of course, Dad. It's been weeks since I ended it with him. I've been so focused at work that I don't even have time to think about it. Oh, that is great news. I'm really glad you decided to end it with him. Sometimes it's just best to walk away. Right? People really show their true colors at their worst times. I can't believe how petty he was being. He was asking me to give him back all his stuff, including the gifts he gave me. Even the promise ring! So I threw everything in a box and gave it all back to him. I can't believe I dated such a pathetic guy. Wow, I am embarrassed for him. How can he call himself a man? I don't understand how you found such a man attractive. That is so petty. I know, Dad. It's embarrassing to even think about it. I must have been blinded by love or something. Oh well, I'm just glad that it's all over. What a relief. To be honest, I felt a bit burdened after talking to his mom. I was kind of discouraged. It scared me to know that people actually think like that and made me wonder if other people I meet will be like that too. Oh, don't think about it, sweetie. I can assure you, people like that don't deserve you. He's a doctor, so what? It's nothing compared to your golden heart. There are plenty of good people out there that will appreciate it. You're perfect in my eyes. You can do so much better. They don't know what they're missing. Aww, I love you, Dad. Thanks for saying that. What would I do without you? By the way, did you see how many reservations we have been getting lately? We even have a group reservation later at 3 p.m. And there's a whole school coming for a field trip tomorrow, too. It's going to be so busy this week. I don't know what's going on, but the sales have been skyrocketing the past few days. We might have to hire more staff. I noticed. We've been getting a lot more busier. The calls have been non-stop. 
It's because our botanical garden has been trending as a hot place to visit on Instagram lately. <laughs> People keep tagging us and posting reels about it. Is that why? How exciting! At this rate, maybe we will become millionaires. Hey, we have to stay humble. It's not like we're running this business for the money. It's your mom's favorite place. She left it for us to take care of when she passed. I just want to keep this place lively in her honor. I know, Dad. The garden meant so much to her. She would have loved to see how much this place flourished. The people, the laughter, all the beautiful flowers and the butterflies. All of our hard work is finally paying off. If only she was still here. I miss her a lot. Oh, I know, sweetie. I do too. I think about her a lot lately. I know she's been watching over us. Our garden has grown so much. <laughs> Remember how it all started? Your mom just wanted a few trees here and there. And then we added some of her favorite flowers on her birthday. And then slowly, our friends and family wanted to come over to take pictures and have picnics. Now, everyone wants to come visit and see how beautiful it is. Uh, speaking of getting busy... Yes, Dad? What is it? Do you by chance still have that dirtbag cell number? Who? You mean my embarrassing ex, Harry? Yes, him, your embarrassing ex. Why do you want his number? Because I have a great idea. Uh, do you mind forwarding his number to me? Oh, um, okay. Hold on. Wow, I can't believe I still have his number. I meant to delete it, actually. Here you go. But really, what exactly are you planning? Trust me, it's gonna be so good. You're gonna thank me later. Hello, is this Harry Smith? Yes, uh, this is he. May I ask who is asking? This is Thomas, Melissa's father. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, hello? Uh, how can I help you? Uh, I must have caught you off guard. Uh, sorry to be so abrupt. I got your number from my daughter. I heard that your mother and my daughter got into an unfriendly conversation the other day. Is that right? Yes, uh, that did happen. Well, when I heard about what happened, I just couldn't shake off the feeling that it could have gone any other way. As a father, there's not much I've done for Melissa, so I want you to do something nice for her, you see? You guys have dated for three whole years now, and I think that you both would regret it to end everything without even trying to work it out. Uh, sorry to break it to you, but Melissa and I have already ended our relationship. It's no use crying over spilt milk. I understand what you're saying, but there's always a second chance to everything. I'm sure you're feeling reluctant now, but please hear me out. I think that you and your mother might have misunderstood what kind of business our family runs. I really want to show you and your mother what our family is all about before you decide to completely end the relationship. I'm confident that this will give your mom a whole new perspective about Melissa and our family. Maybe she will even warm up to Melissa. She sounds like a reasonable person. Uh, do you think you could bring your mother to our garden next weekend? Alright, sir. I don't think it's going to change anything, but I know you mean well. I'll try to bring my mother over next weekend, then. Please send me the address to your garden. Great. Thanks for thinking it over. You're not going to regret this. I'll send you the location address. Here's the snapshot of the garden location. Let me know when you're here, and I'll come to greet you. Uh, thank you again for reconsidering. I'll see you then. Okay, I'll see you next week. Babe, why didn't you say anything? Oh? Who's this? Isn't this my perfect, rich, and most established doctor ex-boyfriend, Harry Smith? What an honor! My mother and I went to your family's botanical garden today. 
Oh, you came today? I didn't even know you were here. How did you know where it was? Your father contacted me the other day. He invited my mom and I over to see the garden. And I'm so glad that he did. It was so much bigger than I had imagined. Like, huge. And you even have a cafe and a two-story restaurant attached to it. It was so impressive. Not to mention how packed it was. There was a line everywhere we went. I'm astonished at the amount of business you get. Why didn't you tell me that your family business wasn't just some small pottery stand at the farmer's market? I completely misunderstood. We could have avoided the drama had you just told me the truth. Why did you pretend to be some lowly person? Huh? Oh, so that's why my dad asked for your number. It's really nothing to boast about. It's been in the family forever. The monthly sales only bring in about $700,000. It's really not that big of a deal. Definitely not some law firm. Did you say $700,000 per month? That is a big deal though. I don't understand why you kept this a secret. I need to tell my mom about this. Yeah, the sales have gone up since it has been trending on Instagram as the new hot place for couples to visit on their dates. So what? You want to get back together or something now that you've seen the garden? Is that why you're texting me? Look, I know how this seems, but it is not like that at all. You know I have always loved you, and I still do. When we ended it like that, I was so sad. I regretted saying mean things to you because I didn't mean any of it. I was just being emotional and bitter. I am really sorry. I haven't stopped thinking about you since the day we broke up. Every time I try to do something, it pained me because anything and everything reminds me of you. I even stopped contacting the other girl ever since. She is nothing like you. If you're still willing to try, I'd love to go back to how things used to be between us. Could we please get back together? I'll do anything. Think of all the great memories we had together. I miss you, babe. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm sure it took a lot of courage for you to be this honest with me. I'll take you back since I can see how sincere you are. Are you serious? Are we really getting back together then? Yes. I can see that you learned a valuable lesson today. Perhaps there's hope after all. So will you please promise me you won't ever judge me or anyone else based on their status or job title? Because that was really cringy. Yes, of course, I promise. I will never do that again. Thank you so much for understanding and reconsidering. I promise I'll be better. A pinky promise. You are the only one that makes me this happy. I love you, Mel. Sweetie. Huh? <laughs> it's been a while. I meant to give you a call the other day. But it's been so busy I haven't had the time. How are you, dear? I recently visited your garden. It was so lovely. Why didn't you tell me anything about it? I had no idea your family owned such a grand garden. I'm sorry. I must have misread. Did you just call me sweetie? Why, yes. I heard you and Harry are back together. When I heard the news, I was so happy for both of you. You guys are meant for each other. And of course I would call you that. After all, you two are eventually going to get married. You're practically family now. Seriously? Oh, are you still upset about that day? I know. You must have been so frustrated. I'm so sorry, dear. It was just a big misunderstanding. I blame my blood pressure. It was oddly high that day. I must have lost control over my temper. I'm so sorry, dear. Please don't take it personal. People get like that when they get old. I didn't really mean any of it. Wow. I never thought I'd live to see this day. You're like a completely different person all of a sudden. What do you mean? I honestly thought you were a person that can't be reasoned with. And here you are, apologizing. You and your son completely changed your attitude after seeing our garden. Don't you remember our last conversation? This is actually very entertaining to see. Did you say that I have a thick skin? So what does that make you then? 
Now don't be so cruel. I'm still going to be your mother-in-law one day. Let's just forget that day ever happened. It'll be good for the both of us. Listen, lady. It looks like you are still misunderstanding the situation. So I'll be straightforward with you. The chances of your son and I getting married is at 0%. Simply put, it will never happen. Not in this life, not in the next, not ever. I knew he wouldn't stop bothering me until I took him back, so I did it temporarily. Just for fun. I just wanted to see his reaction. It was quite entertaining for the time being to see how differently he acted as soon as he learned the truth. But honestly, I'm getting bored now. He's too predictable. I can see right through him. If I were you, I wouldn't get my hopes up. You don't need to call me sweetie, nor do you need to apologize. It's too late. You both have already shown me what kind of people you are. Even after I took him back, it didn't seem to me that you're apologizing for the right reasons. Now, wait a minute, Melissa. Unfortunately, I have nothing more to say. And I don't really want to continue this conversation. So please stop texting me. Also, while you're at it, please tell Harry to do the same. He can tell him he got dumped by that small pottery stand girl. Thanks so much. Hi, so I wanted to block you guys and call it a day. But my dad really wanted to say a few words before we ended this for good. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Hello, everyone. I asked Melissa to start a group chat with you two. There is something that I've been meaning to tell you all. Of course. <laughs> uh, please, don't hesitate. As you may have seen the other day when you visited our garden, our family runs quite a big business. But it always wasn't that big. It took us nearly 20 years of hard work for it to grow like that. We started from nothing. We worked day and night. We haven't taken any holidays off since we opened the garden. During those 20 years, my loving wife who recently passed away put all of her heart and passion into the garden. That garden was her whole life. She loved the nature, the trees, the plants, and flowers. She always dreamed of creating a place where people can come and relax and make beautiful memories. Unfortunately, she didn't get to live to see how much people came to love the place. She would have been so happy. You might just think that it's some garden or some sort of source of income. But to Melissa and I, it is much more precious than that. It's our hard work, passion, and love. All of our priceless memories with my wife resides there. I wanted to tell you that it's not always about the money. It may not always be obvious, but sometimes you can't put a number on a value. A small pottery stand at a farmer's market or not, you will never know the true value just by looking at it from the outside. You might be saving lives, and we might be creating beautiful memories for people. Small or big, we all matter. Everyone works hard to contribute to this world one way or another. I didn't know that it meant so much to you. Oh, I feel bad that I was so quick to judge without even trying to get to know what's behind the scenes. I want to truly apologize for my rude behavior. I'm sorry, Melissa. I was too busy glorifying my son. I didn't even try to learn or understand your story. When I saw how successful your business was, all I could think of was for my son to get married with Melissa for our family's reputation. How selfish of me. I am ashamed of the way I acted. I was blind and ignorant. I deeply apologize for being so rude. Please don't ever judge a person because of their background or their job title. What I do for my job shouldn't be the factor of deciding whether or not I'm qualified to be your wife or daughter-in-law. It's not your place to judge my value based on what I do. Anyways, we thought we'd share this bit with you so that you realize what kind of mistake you made. I hope you learned a valuable lesson from this. Blinded by pride and greed, Glory and Harry ruined what could have been a happily ever after for everyone. I guess, in a way, I am glad that this all happened. 
because had I not known how shallow and foolish they were, I probably would have suffered a very unhappy marriage life. Although we didn't have to go out of our way to show them our garden, we wanted to give them a taste of their own medicine. After that day, they tried many times to reconnect with us. But with everything that's happened, I knew it was time to move on. Hopefully, this taught Laurie and Harry an unforgettable lesson. Eventually, the word of mouth spread throughout the city, and our botanical garden became even more popular. We had an average of 2,000 visitors each week. It became the ultimate it place for people to visit when in town. Also, I am happily dating again. Not with Harry, of course. I ended up meeting someone who appreciates and values me for who I am. I'm sure my mother is proud of our family, watching over us from heaven. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.